What is going on everybody and today we're going to be learning about how to make awesome menus for your game specifically main menus setting menus stuff like that now this is the menu for a game that I'm working on called right now it's called survival knots I'll probably change the name later it's a online multiplayer 2d survival game so I'm going to show you how to do a lot of the stuff that I have going on on my game right now so there's a few things you can do. Notice that these little text areas, they work just fine. You can put in your username, you can put in your password. Uh, right now our settings menu doesn't work, but that's fine. So uh, I can create an account here. Now notice when I click the button, it you know, kinda does a little animation there. You can't hear it, but there's also a little sound effect that plays. Uh, we can actually already do this. We can uh, create an account here. Just put in a really complicated password. Uh, and then, for now, this is my only serial key. We can create an account. Okay. We can log in with the account we just created. Enter. You can see I already have a server lobby up. I can actually, you know, join the game. I'm still working on this part. I'm going to have a little chat room here. I can refresh the servers. So if I close my server here, it's gone. And I get an error message. But don't worry. You're not going to have that in your game. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first thing that I like to do in making my menus is first designing it in Photoshop. Now, you can use any tool that you're comfortable with. I've used Photoshop for many years, so I'm comfortable using that, but there's some other great free software out there like GIMP. Uh, whatever you're comfortable using, first, what you want to do is design your menu in that. Now, I recommend using a software that lets you use uh, layers because that's very important. What I basically do is design everything in Photoshop, so like the logo, the buttons, everything. Then I'll cut it up, or at least export the layers into PNG format, and then I'll put it into my game, and then I'll code it to make it work uh, the way that I want it to work. So, pretty cool, right? Now, I do this a lot. I do this for my GUI of the game. There's been a few games I design everything in Photoshop before I write one line of coding. So. Uh, I recommend use Photoshop or GIMP, whatever you're comfortable using uh, to your advantage. So, let's go ahead and do this. Let's create a new file. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to go 800 by 600. Your, uh, you know, dimensions might be bigger or smaller depending on the size of your room. So, we're just going to do 800 by 600. So, we can go ahead and close this out. Alrighty, so the first thing that we want to do is put a background on our menu. So I like to start with a background because that will determine what color the buttons and the font and text and everything else is going to be. So there's a few ways that you can do a background. You can create your own. You can use a, uh, you can use a gradient tool, choose a couple colors here. So I have this nice little blue. Um, you can just add a gradient and uh, you know that, that looks kind of cool. So it's kind of bluish. You could add your logo right here, add some buttons, uh, play around with the filters, you know, add something kind of cool. You know, that did nothing. Uh, okay, that's just ugly. But you, you get what I'm saying. You can just add a gradient. That's one way to do it. What I like to do, I like to use images a lot. So what I'll do is go to images.google.com and I'll just find an image that's public domain that I can use. The reason I like to use public domain is because I don't want to steal someone else's work and I don't want to use a picture that's copyright. So what I'll do uh, is I'll search a word, so let's just search like fantasy, uh, and then I'll add the words public domain. And normally that ensures that I'm going to find a picture that is free for me to use. So we have this picture right here. This is from publicdomainpictures.net. So this picture should be free to use. So I'm going to cl click view image. So I like this. I'm going to copy the image and then I'm going to paste it in Photoshop. So control V. Now I'm going to probably re yeah, I'm, I'm going to resize it a little bit. So to do that in Photoshop, you just hold control and click T and then you hold shift and you can just resize it like this. If you don't hold shift, you're just going to make it look really wonky. So I'm going to hold shift to keep the dimensions and uh, just do something like this. So that looks pretty cool. Okay. So yeah, we can work with this. So what I can do with this is basically put the logo for the game right here. 
I can add a few buttons. And then over here, I'll add a little login menu just so you can see how that is done. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is add our logo. So to do that, what I normally do is just go to 1001freefonts.com. The link is in the description. And I'll just search for a really cool looking font that I can use. So since it looks like we're kind of making a menu for an RPG, what I'll do is just search like fantasy, you know, something like that. Okay, those are all ugly, um, you know, let's let's see here, let's just look around, well, here's a me whole menu for fantasy right there. So, oh, that looks really cool, that looks really cool, this looks really cool, so let's download this, go ahead and open the file here, and uh, I'm not even going to unzip it, if you're using Windows, you can just double click and click install. So this is installing a new font to my computer, now I go back to Photoshop. And uh, let's name this game Guardian. So this is a font that I was using on another game. So that font was called like Immortal something. So we're going to look for that in our menu here. So let's see, alphabetical order right here. So there's our new font. We can again hold Control, click T, hold Shift, and make it a lot bigger. Look at that. Come on, that looks sweet. That looks really cool. A little bit smaller that font is perfect it even has like a little outline to it now what you can do is in Photoshop is right click on your layer over here and click blending options there's a whole bunch of things you can do in here you can add a, uh, a an outline which it looks like our font already already kind of has one but you can edit the outline there uh, you can add a drop shadow play around with this a little bit I don't know if it's gonna show up very well probably not oh well uh, there's just different things you can do to make it look different, you know, add a texture to it. But I like I like how this looks. I think this looks fine. I think it looks perfect. Okay. All right. So we have our logo. Uh, let's see. Maybe I don't know. I liked it, but now maybe we can just do a few things to it. In texture, you can kind of uh, just kind of give it you know, give it a little touch. All right. Wish I could figure out why the shadow's not working. Um, oh well, I'll mess with that. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. That's why. It's set to white. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. So what we'll do is add this nice little shadow. Not too much. Just gives it a nice little touch here. There we go. All right, that's good enough for now. It just kind of makes it pop out a little bit more. So this was it before the effects. Here's after the effects. So looks pretty nice, right? So there is our uh, there's our logo.